What's going on my dudes? Chensley11 here and welcome back to another episode in the A to Z series where we go through every single champion in League of Legends and give you a basic and beginner's guide on each of them. So uh, in this game we have uh, a nice support, a nice shielding support. We're playing Karma so we're going to be showing you how to play Karma support for beginners. So we're going to be going through um, all of her runes, her abilities and the build that we went this game. Uh, some general tips and tricks on how to play Karma. So just generally a karma guide. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, and if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Because as I said, we are going through every single champion in league. And we're up to like, what is this, 52 maybe? 53? Something like that. Around the 50s there. So we're getting through quite a bit of them. Um, so in this game, we are playing with a misfortune in the bot lane, obviously. And uh, just quick start. Obviously, you want to start um, spell thieves and two potions. Uh, so Karma in general, quick little little bit of a invade. Oh, I think we're dead here, aren't we? I remember this. So uh, absolutely get clapped level one, but that's okay. We come back. I had a comment in the previous game saying that, uh, you know, I'm not playing. Um, this is my gameplay. It's just pre-recorded, and then I record the audio after. That way I can focus on um, explaining the champion and the abilities uh, a little bit clearer. Um, so as you can see in the bottom left, chance 11. We ping, we have 20 gold, so we died... But we got 20 gold, so a little bit of a positive there. So just in general, Karma, uh, she's in a bit of a rough spot. Um, so if you don't like playing weak -er champions, Karma's probably not the best. Uh, she does provide a lot of movement speed and shield, and I think she scales really well. Um, I think she's had a little bit of nerfs because people are taking her top um, because of her W, and I'll explain that all her abilities in a moment um, because of the healing was actually like tank Karma became a thing. But support Karma is where she's meant to be played. And I like her because she provides a lot of poke in the early game, and she actually provides a lot of shielding and utility in the late game, especially when you build Shirelias, which is the first item you rush. Um, so in the early game, what you want to be doing is just trying to poke with your Q um, and your R, like your in enhanced uh, Q. So I'll explain that in a moment. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, giving a shield to your AD carry when you when need be, and maybe getting a cheeky tether with your W if, if um, the opportunity arises. But into a Leona... She can lock us up pretty hard, so we're probably going to focus on poking rather than stunning. Uh, the ca the caster's isolation damage is actually pretty nuts as well. So we'll poke them down, and then we'll go from there. So we're going to start off with going through her runes, okay? So uh, And then we'll get into the abilities. So the runes, I like to take um, uh, Summonary as the main rune, and then obviously you go Mana Flow Band, you go Transcendence and Scorch. And then the secondary rune, you go Biscuit Delivery and uh, Cosmic Insight for the CDR. So Biscuit Delivery is good on Karma because of the mana regen it gives you. Because you want to just be constantly poking. And if you get hit with some poke, you can also take um, take the Biscuit to heal you. Uh, and also if you sell it at the store you get or eat it, you gain um, some maximum mana. So that's also really good on Karma. So um, pretty simple setup there. You also want to take Ignite, Flash obviously. Um... And that's basically all you need to know about the runes. Nothing else. There are other builds or rune pages you can go. Go on Pro Guides uh, to have a look what the pros are doing. Uh, this this page is actually pretty good in my opinion. I think it's probably one of the best. You could probably also go um, the Arcane Comet if you want to poke more and do more damage. But I think the Summon area for the Shields is better uh, in my opinion. And it still has pretty good damage. So I'll, I'll throw up the build as well. So basically... As I said, start Spell Thieves, obviously, support item. And you can see the Leona's coming, so I guess there's a gank coming. And there is, so we try and shield the Misfortune. It's on cooldown, unfortunately. Uh, so we're just trying to escape, because we know the Misfortune's pretty much screwed. Um, unfortunately, not much we could do out there. I think I had a ward, so I probably should have just warded, and it's my fault. Um, I'll blame myself that we got uh, caught out there. Because I was focusing too much on um, getting the poke down, and I didn't actually uh, get the vision down in the, in the river. And we've got to be careful not to die to the Kaiser. Oh, that flash nearly got us. If, uh, maybe we probably could have turned that because I had Shield Ignite if the Leona connected on that sword. So we're just going to try and hold the wave here before the Misfortune comes back. But that poke is absolutely incredible. Look at the Leona. She's pretty low. But anyway, guys. Uh, yeah, start your Spell Thieves. Then you want to go Boots of um, Lucidity. So it's the CDR Boots. Rush them because you need CDR on Karma a lot. Um, and then um, we're going to go Shirelia's Battle Song into... Oh, has Misfortune got it? Beautiful. So we've got the fiddlesticks at the back here. So we're just trying to tether the Kaiser. And I'm just trying to shield and kite as much as I can. So I shield the Misfortune. Stay around uh, the back of her so we can make sure we um, keep her alive. But unfortunately, Fiddlesticks cleans us up. So we go two for two for two there again. So probably not the best. Uh, fiddlesticks is pretty scary late game. So 
Uh, not the best to be feeding him early, but a couple kills on the ADC never hurts. Um, so after Shirelia's, then we're going to go Chemtech Purifier uh, to reduce their healing. And um, they're going to have a little bit of healing in their team. Um, uh, I think I think anti-healing items are just good in general. Um, you know, there's a lot of champions these days, a lot of items that give life still, so uh, it's, it's probably worth it. And then, you know, you don't know what the dragons are going to come through. There could be some healing dragons as well. So that's the build. Um, and also, I would have thrown up the ability order. Uh, you want to max your Q first, and then you want to max your E second, and then your W last. And you would have noticed at the start of the game, you start off... Uh, with a point in your R. So unfortunately we're getting caught out again. We might have to flash. Yeah, we have to burn our flash. So not the best of early games, but um, come at a scale pretty hard. So uh, this game takes a nice turn and we end up uh, having a pretty good game. So hope you enjoy the gameplay. And as I say with all these videos, the gameplay isn't super important. It's just there as a guide uh, while I explain what's going on in the champion and then um, uh, like, you know, point out some good plays, some good things you can do, some mistakes because we we're trying to learn here. So mistakes are actually good so we can point them out and... Um, it, explain what not to do um so we're gonna go through now karma's a bit weird right because she has obviously three abilities and then she starts off with a point of her ultimate and her ultimate enhances her next spell so what we're gonna do actually is we're gonna we're gonna first explain the passive then we're gonna go onto her ultimate or her r it's not really an ultimate um her r and then we're gonna go q w e so first we're gonna explain karma's passive it's called gathering fire and basically it's very simple Karma's auto attacks and abilities reduce the cooldown of her R. That's literally all it is. Um, so her abilities um, cool down by two sec, cool it down by two seconds, scaling up to five depending on your on your champion's level. And uh, your auto attacks always reduce it by one second. So very very simple passive. All you need to know is that the more abilities and auto attacks you connect on the enemy, frees up your R or your ultimate. And I just used it there. And that's the next ability we're going to go through. We're going to explain that right now. So, but, but quickly before we go into the R, all you need to know about the passive, it's just something happening in the background. You're getting CDR off whenever you hit ability. So mainly your Q is, is the ability you're going to be hitting. So just like that, you can see my cooldown went down when I hit it. Um, and it's important to land as many Qs as you can because you're all, number one, you're getting gold because you're spell thieves. Number two, you're stacking up your spell thieves for your getting your warding trinket. And also you're getting 20 bucks, right, every single time. So 20 gold every time you hit a thing and you're getting CDR on your ultimate. So it's very important on Karma to be trying to hit the Qs. Try to hit it on targets like the Kaiser. The Leon is tanky, so the damage doesn't isn't isn't as important. But chunking the Kaiser will make her scared and um, see like that. The lower she hits, the, the more scared she's going to be of the Misfortune going to get a kill. And the less CS she'll pick up, okay? So make sure you're putting that pressure on. I'm playing a little bit back here. Probably should push up. So that's the passive. So next, we're going to explain the R, or we'll say the ultimate. It's not really the ultimate. It's called Mantra. Now, Mantra, all it is, is whenever you use Mantra, it empowers your next basic ability. Okay? So really, Karma only has, and it lasts for 8 seconds. So you have to cast the next ability within 8 seconds. So really, Karma only has 3 abilities. And her ultimate, all it does is it buffs the next ability you use. Um, so it's a little bit... Weird, essentially, but basically it makes her simple to play, but then um, unique and complex in the fact that there's different things you can do. Okay, now, the things that the mentor does to the abilities will go through in a moment, but they don't fundamentally change the ability, they just make them better. So there's no, it's not like she has six different abilities, uh, every time you use your R, it's very different. All it is, is it just makes them slightly better, or, you know, much better, And but it's the same overall concept of what they do. So... That's all you need to know about the R. Now, you start off with a point in R, and then as you hit level 6, 11, and 16, as normal, you get points into your R uh, whenever you can because some of your abilities, their empowered ability scales with your ultimate level. Okay, so um, uh, we're going to make sure you level up that whenever you can. So a little bit unfortunate there that we didn't get the, the nice layer of the MFO under tower, but we have shoved the wave here. Akali's diving, but we have uh, someone TPing in the backside. So I was trying to like ping to focus the Mordekaiser so we can get him out of the way and then focus. But unfortunately, he altered me. So we have a lot of movement speed. So you can see us kiting around, especially with our tier 2 boots. So he didn't quite get us. And we're just going to tether him, root him down, and then hopefully finish him uh, with the Akali collapsing. So we managed to chunk him pretty hard. Um, and I think we can actually pick up a couple kills here. Yep. So the, the Akali grabs a kill. So you can see the movement speed coming in clutch there in the Mordekaiser ultimate. Um... 
to just dodge him out. To, uh, to, and I also was trying to kite towards my tower. So when he comes out, um, he forgets where he is and he's kind of close to our enemy, our allies so we can get a couple kills there. So ended up being okay. We're just trying to um, poke the Kaiser as much as we can. Uh, and I think we managed to get her. Or well, we get the heal and we get her flash. Unfortunately, we don't get the kill. Um, Leona is also here now, so we can't quite go deep. We see the fiddlesticks uh, in mid lane, so we know we've got a little bit of time to get out. Um, but unfortunately, the tower, our minions aren't in tower range. Um, yeah, let's go back to the abilities. Uh, so yeah, so we want to try and explain. Oh, we get we get clapped by the fiddlesticks there. So a little bit greedy from myself. Um, and hopefully the Dr. Mahi's surrounded. He's finished, isn't he? Hopefully he can get the fiddlesticks at least to make it a pretty close uh, trade. But he doesn't. He gets pulled back by the pike. So. Again, I don't like to um, say I'm the best at league, but I like to I like to be I like every single play. I like to think about what I did wrong and what it cost our team. So me going too aggressive on the Kaiser literally cost us uh, three kills there, three deaths. Uh, you can say this person, that person could have done this better. That person should have done this. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you can only control your own champion, and your decision making is the most important thing. So not the best start to the lane. Uh, zero three, three assists. Uh, and I, I'm, uh, I cost us that. I cost us a little bit there. Fortunately, the Akali's popping off mid. All right, let's get back to it. So that's the that's the mantra. Very simple. It just enhances your next ability. Now let's go through and go through the ability. So we're going to start off with Q, right? So Q is the first max. It's the most important ability, depending on how you like to play. If you're if you like poking, then it's your best most important ability. If you're more of a support. Like let's just give everyone fatty shields, then it's probably your second most important ability. But I like it. I like using Inner Flame a lot. Uh, so basically what I'll do is I'll explain the first part and what it does, and then I'll explain the Mantra effect. So the enhanced effect when you hit um, the Empowered Q. Uh, get a ward on the dragon. The Dr. Mundo is lurking, so he's coming in for a gank. So we should be able to pick up uh, a couple kills and dragon, hopefully, if this all goes well. So we get the stun, we get the root on the uh, Kaiser, and that's a very, very good ultimate there from the Misfortune. So we end up kicking two kills. Urgot is teleporting in a little bit late, unfortunately, for him uh, to get in on the kills. But we will be able to push it out a lot of this tower. So let's keep going with the inner flare. So Karma fires out a burst of spiritual energy and in target direction that de detonates on the first target hit, dealing magic damage, uh, as we siege this tower. Um... And it also slows for 35 percent for 1.5 seconds so the slow is great um because you can actually get around the map quite quickly and be quite elusive with your slows of your q and your shields right if you shield yourself and slow the enemy you're really fast uh, especially in the early game when you usually have boot advantage because you're rushing your boots um looks like my team's good with the dragon so we're gonna go help out Akali with shields and uh q's so we get caught out a little bit but the Akali is doing some damage Again, just trying to keep her alive. She ults over the wall. Fiddlesticks ults. Again, we're just shielding Dr. Mundo. We tether when we can. And we're going to throw out Qs off cooldown when we can. We are quite low. So we're just dancing on that line here. Um, and we're doing okay here. Uh, the thing that Dr. Mundo uh, got caught out and died. Um, but anyway, we're going to try and... all oh, the doc uh, It's a beautiful ultimate awesome from the got there to get the kill. So, yeah, as a support, you want to play just behind your front line, giving them shields and trying to peel off your damage dealers whenever you can. Um, so that's basically what we did in that fight. We managed to play it just on the line of nearly dying, so perfectly. Um, there was probably some shields or cues I missed or something like that. So um, obviously it wasn't perfect, but pretty good. I managed to come back and get a dragon for our team there. So now the game's a little bit more even. You can see us coming back. So that's what the Q does. It just fires off, does an orb of damage. It explodes, does damage. Uh, and it slows, right? So if you use ultimate or your mantra and then you use your Q, so the enhanced Q, uh, it does an increased magic damage. And I'll throw the numbers uh, on the screen uh, when I started explaining the ability and also show the ability in the top left. Uh, and it also leaves a lingering field, okay? So let me see if I use my ultimate here. It leaves a lingering field on the ground uh, that does damage after a few seconds when it procs. So there's the field on the ground, you see it? And then I panned away and then it explodes, uh, dealing more damage again. Um, so it actually does a lot more damage. It, the initial shot of the Q also does more damage. And it also, um, the lingering field, when it explodes, slows for 50 sec uh, fifty percent Not 50 seconds, that'd be busted. Uh, for 50%, okay? So uh, if you can, um, you can tether people and then try and hit them with the enhanced Q. Uh, that would be great to lock them in so they get hit with the second part of the Q. Or do something like that where you can zone them off like that. 
But you can see that initial part of the queue actually chunked the Kaiser. And it scales very, very heavily with the AP. Uh, so it actually ends up doing a lot of damage. So it's actually really, really fun to use. That's why I really like Karma in lane. Uh, because of her Qs. They're absolutely insane. So that's basically all there is about the Q. Very, very simple ability. It's your poke. It's your main source of damage. Uh, it's your main way of stacking up your... Um, your... Um, what's it called? Your uh, spell thief. So you can see there I zoned off the... Uh, zoned off the Kaisa with a Q. So the Leona went in and she was just 2v1ing. And then we managed to... T I think we tethered her and then the Misfortune finished off with a nice ultimate. So... You can see how much what I said before about poking with your Q, it scares like the enemy ADC out of the lane, right? They can't really join because they're scared they're going to die. So it's actually really, really good. And then I love doing this when when I, they're on the tower like this, I can just hit them with a nasty Q. And I'm just waiting for my ultimate um, to come off cooldown. And then I was thinking maybe we can kill this tower and then quickly burst her. But she's Kaisa actually has a lot of movement speed. Uh, so uh, if you want to find out what Kaisa does, we have a Kaisa video as well. Um, so we're going to run away here because Leona's back. So we hit the shield on the Misfortune to give her movement speed. And we're going to get the hell out of here. If Leona lands her sword, we're kind of boned though. So we're going to try and dodge that. And we flash the sword. So that was good. That was what I was waiting for. Uh, unfortunately, it cost us our um, flash. But we did get um, Ignite off Leona. So it's not too bad. So that's the Q, guys. Very, very simple. Um, easy to land. It's quite... has It's like an AoE. So it's actually really easy to hit. Uh, remember, it reduces your cooldown of your mantra when you hit them, so make sure you're hitting them. Um, very, very good. So we're going to have a look at here. Dr. Mundo and the Misfortune collapsing on the Leona. Beautiful. Got the nice slow from the Misfortune. Dr. Mundo getting the kill there. Excellent. And you can see when we hit um, our Spell Thieves, when we've stacked it up and we now have to the Trinket, a Warding Trinket, switch over to your uh, Sweeper because your support now, your role is to deny and provide a vision for your team. That's one of the... Um, as you can see what I'm doing here. That's one of the um, criteria, or not criteria, it's one of the objectives of a support is to make sure vision control is done for your team. That way you can ensure that you have access to the dragons and neutral uh, objectives, which is actually really important. So we hit a fiddlesticks with a nice Q there and look how low he is. My team's able to collect him really easily. Uh, so that's really good. And then we're just gonna shield up the Urgot whenever we can, because he's frontlining. And beautiful ultimate from Misfortune again. Absolutely nutty ultimate. Just deleting everyone. So holding him in. Uh, so Misfortune and everyone else can do the AoE damage. And we end up getting this um, tower. We've got Dragon supporting in 21 seconds. So we're going to head over there after we get this. So we're going to explain the E next. Now E, I, I forgot to mention the um, Qs enhanced. They have different names. It's not really that important. But it's called Renewal uh, when you enhance the Q. So when you push the ultimate, your abilities like the icons change. Um... And they have a different name. So the next ability we're going to go through is the E. It's called Inspire, or the base version is called Inspire. Karma shields an ally for or herself as, for 2.5 seconds um, and gives them bonus movement speed for 1.5 seconds. So um, it's actually really, really, that's basically your bread and butter ability. I just uh, stunned the uh, scuttle there to get rid of the shield for the Martine to get it. Uh, so something else you can do with Karma. Uh, so the shield is obviously really important. In team fights, it's excellent. Uh, keep your frontline alive. Keep your AD carry alive if they're getting died by assassins. Keep yourself alive if you're getting t uh, poked out. Um, the thing with shields, though, is you need to be um, you need to be active, like trying to put them on targets that are that need the shield. If me and the AD carry are chilling at the back and the frontline's doing their thing and I'm just shielding the AD carry and she's not taking damage, excuse me, my shields are useless, not doing anything. So. Make sure we're putting the shields on who needs the shield. So um, it's just something that you need to practice. And if you play a lot of shielding supports, uh, you, you'll get the hang of it. So we're going to try and not get hit by the pike. Uh, we do get stunned. Uh, we do manage to p poke him a little bit. But again, pike is one of those champions that um, can just heal up. So we've we got to try and make sure we get rid of that. So we use Shirelli as our active item, which is the first ability we maxed to allow us to shut down the target. And you can see I'm playing around the back. And just shielding people when they need to be shielded. There's my enhanced E. So the enhanced E, it's called Defianced. Uh, now, Defiance, what it is, is when you use the shield or the, the empowered shield, you give a bigger shield to the target you apply it to, but it also gives an AoE shield around. So you can see there when I used it, everyone around us got a shield as well. Um, so it's actually really, really strong. So in team fights, it's absolutely insane if you get that enhanced E off and you get a nice shield on the on the priority target and shield everyone else especially when there's AoE damage going on so it's actually really amazing you can turn the fight um, and you can see what we're doing in the game we're just chilling with my team um, 
giving them movement speed, giving them shields, tethering, poking when we can. You can see that poke there, how much poke I just did to everyone. Uh, so it's actually really, really... I, th I think Karma's actually a pretty strong champion. Um, but, you know, her numbers are a little bit low, so which is why her win rate isn't great. Um, so you can see uh, here, I got caught. And again, we're just trying to um, give shields to the front line. Look at the poke. We're going to do a nice dodge on the pike hole. Um, our enhanced Q went off there and got the kill there on the uh, uh, the Kaiser, I think it was. So we're just chilling with the team. Again, we're really low, so we kind of have to be careful. And we're just pit and poke and shields when we can. So really dancing on that line. You can see um, just how many assists we're on. We're on 16 assists, so we're actually murdering this game. Uh, so despite the early game, we're actually doing pretty well. Uh, and you can see there that the teleport got cancelled there because we killed the tower, which is actually pretty cool as well. So, excellent. Um, but yeah, the that's basically all the enhanced E does. Uh, now, this is one of those abilities that the it's called Defiance, the enhanced E, you know, when you change it. This is one of those abilities that scales with their ultimate's level. So you can see here we're level 11. So our ultimate is level 3. Um, so that's why it's scaling with that. So your Q, I think all the abilities scale with the, your... Yeah, they all the abilities, all the enhanced abilities scale with your ultimate level. Okay, not the ability itself. The base damage of the ability scales with the um, with the uh, level of the actual ability. Um, so keep that in mind. So you, later on in the game, your mantra abilities or your empowered abilities do more damage as you get more levels because you will have more points in your ultimate. All right. So that's the E. Now the next ability we're going to explain is the W, and it's called. Um, oh, I, I've explained the the e before the w but that's okay so that was the the shield is the is the e and that's the next that's the second max so it's probably the um it's probably important to go through that uh first but it doesn't really matter so the next ability we're going to go through is the w okay so we did q then we did e now we're going to do w so the w is called um uh focused resolve all right as we use our shirelias and try and get into this team fight here i'll quickly uh mention what's going on in the team fight and then we'll go back to the ability um so the W is a really strong ability, but it requires you to get in nice and close. Um, and you can see I'm using it here. Basically, you put a tether on the enemy team or the enemy uh, champion. And if they stay within your tether range uh, for two seconds, it pops and they are rooted. Okay. It also does damage on cast um, and it reveals them. Okay. So basically what you want to do, if like I was trying to use it in lane to stun the enemy opponent, the enemy champions is you use your W on them and then try to stay within the tether range and there's like an indicator. And if you stay within them, you can see here it is a music now on the Baron. If you stay within the tether range, it pops, does another burst of the same damage and then roots them, okay? So very, very simple. It also reveals them, as I said. Now the enhanced or the mantra ability or the empowered, all, uh, basically what it does is when you cast it, you heal for 20% of your missing health plus um, Plus, uh, and the scales with AP. So unfortunately, we can't quite get the Baron. We don't have the damage. And we're a bit low. We're trying to sneak it. Um, uh, and also, uh, what was I going to say? So on cast, tether. Um, yeah, just it just the root duration increases as well. Okay? So the root in duration, I'll throw the numbers up. It goes, it increases on the uh, base uh, root duration. Okay? So... When is it good to use uh, the in, uh, Mantra W? When you're low on health, it's really, really good because you'll get a nice heal. And that's what I said earlier about people were taking in the solar lanes because you can max your W and get insane healing off it. So um, it is actually pretty strong. Um, but that's all the abilities, guys. So we'll, we'll quickly run through them again just so you, you're 100% sure what's going on. The Q is your poke ability. Enhanced does more damage. It leaves a field behind. It also slows. The W is the one we just went through. It's the tethered route. Uh, does magic damage uh, when it when you initially cast it on the second burst, and it also roots them if you stay within the tether range. Uh, the enhanced um, also heals you when you cast it on the initial cast, and it also increases the root duration. The E is your shield, so you can place the shield on an ally or yourself. And um, look at that, there is an enhanced shield is a bigger shield, and then it does like an AOE shield around. It also gives movement speed. So that's all the abilities, guys. So Karma, like conceptually is a very simple champion to play uh, mechanically pretty easy i mean you, you got to get used to pushing your r a lot um like before you want to use your abilities you gotta like make sure you're paying attention on the cooldowns uh so this is actually a pretty quick game where we just absolutely went around as a team and played well as a team and just absolutely demolished every single objective 
and cleaned up. So those three deaths I got in the early game were the only ones that I ended up getting. So that's it, guys. In team fights, shield the targets that you need to. Uh, throw out your Q when you can. I also try and tether whenever I can. Um, I used uh, the W there. I had to flash out, trying to protect myself and the Urgot. But I think we're done on the pike, so I, I did die again, unfortunately. I uh, went a little bit too greedy there, trying to take too many, uh, like another tower, and we didn't really need to. Um, but this is probably just going to draw out the uh, game a little bit longer. We could have probably just backed off, ended, maybe got Baron. Probably would have been the best thing to do. But Misfortune is um, getting some damage in. Leon is low. They probably are able to pick her up. Nice slow from the Misfortune. And Dr. Mundo's about to clean that up beautifully. Auto attack reset with the Q. Dr. Mundo video is also up. One of the more recent videos we did as well, if you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, but that's basically all of Karma's abilities. Um, now, in terms of build, I like to go Ardent Sensor. Um, now, you can go Ardent Sensor a bit earlier if you have a really... Uh, like a real 1v9 ADC. Misfortune is more of an AoE damage champion, um, like with her ultimate, and she's not going to just 1v9 everyone, like Vayne or Kaiser would. So you can go Arden Sense a little bit early if you have that kind of ADC, but Staff of Flowing Water, I always quote Flowering Water, is actually pretty good as well. So, all right, so we're going to try and join the team up through the middle uh, and get back into this team fight. Um, Dr. Mundo tanking up so much damage. Um, Unfortunately, Misfortune can go. I think I stopped there, which sucks. So we're going to try and get to Dr. Mundo and help him, but unfortunately he dies. So we're going to have to just bail out of this one, get some vision down um, in their base. Hopefully, maybe we can I can snag this inhibitor while they're preoccupied with the minions, but I don't think so. We can get a little bit of damage in there. Oh, we get the Q. Oh, is she going to die? She's going to die. So that's that lingering field the Kaiser didn't notice. And I did ping it to say in the video, look how good I am, guys. I'm a beast. But yeah, we used the, the enhanced Q, the Q there, so the RQ, and then it hit her, did a burst of damage and leaves the field around, and then that popped and killed her. So really, really strong. So this is the tether here, guys. I would have shown all the abilities. Uh, I probably should have just waited for the tether to go off before using my Q because I wasted damage on the shield for no reason. Because if you CC the Scuttle Crab, it, um, it loses its shield. So um, managed to get the Scuttle Crab for our team. Uh, I mean, as a support, you don't really want to be taking gold off the map. Um, but for vision, I think it's okay. Um, the Kali is pinging to end the game, but we could probably just take the Baron, play it safe, uh, as the enemy's pinned into their base. Um, that's it, guys. That's all I wanted to explain with Karma. I think I think she's I think she's actually pretty fun to play, to be honest. Um, I think there'll be a point in time where she becomes very very strong again, and uh, this video will serve you well. Um, if you want to play her, I recommend giving her a few games because, uh, number one, it's weird to start off with an, with an ultimate. There's only a few champions like that, like Jason, at least one of the couple of the other ones we've uh, covered in the series. Um, but it's just another layer to her kit, right? So you have to be, be aware that, um, you know, you have to do extra button presses if, you know, if you're not used to that or whatever. Uh, but And the other thing is with Karma, she doesn't have, like, an ultimate. Like, there's no cool ability that she has that... Does a big influence in a team fight, so she's just doing a little, a lot of little things. Um, not to say that her enhanced E or W isn't great, or her Q even. You saw it before. Um, they are actually insane abilities, but she doesn't have a cool gangbusters insane ultimate uh, like other other champions do. So we got the Baron. We're going to go head towards a dragon as it is spawning. The Doctor Mundo is just tanking a shitload of damage. We managed to get in there, get a nice shield on him. Uh, Misfortune goes into the Mordekai's ult and demolishes him. Which is great. Fiddlestick's great ultimate hitting all of us. Going to do a lot of damage. And he's going to take me out as well. Kaisa's going to uh, be there. Urgot flashes on top of her. They're going to pick her up and they're going to get the dragon. Akali is also joining. We go two for four. And we're going to get the dragon. And that's probably going to be the end of the game, guys. So, I mean, to be honest, not the best game from myself. Uh, oh, nearly lost the dragon there. Um, but there's no point. Sh I mean, sometimes it's fun to just show absolute stomp games. But uh, I like to show games where, you know, a little bit of back and forth. Nice, interesting game. Akali's going to get into the base and just end the game. Um, but anyway, guys. Um, I think Karma, as I was saying before, is fun. Uh, definitely definitely give her a go. I think she's one of those really, really cool shooting sports. She has a lot of things you can do in the kit. Keep people alive. A lot of um, peel potential. Some CC. And then a lot of damage. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I think next we got Karthus. We're going to play him in the jungle. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like. Hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. And remember, at the end of the day, it is night time. Take it easy.